Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Gemini and this will be for the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading though, so it's not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, don't forget time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. So if we talk about you, it could be your person or vice versa. Um, for this reading, I'm going to use the Everyday um, Witch Oracle. I'll use these ones, the Angel Wisdom Tarot, the Romance Angels, and I'll finish with some tarot. Gemini. The 19th of the 25th. Okay, Gemini. Does Gemini need to know? Come on, one more. One for Gemini, please. Okay. So it looks like it's all about your finances this time. Possibly. Okay, so you've got the Four of Pentacles. This is about managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give or receive money, time or emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black or white, being charitable. So normally that's all about you you're wanting long-term security. Um, it can also be about you being um, possessive, um, resisting change. Maybe there's something you know you need to get rid of, but you're being stubborn about that. Um, so yeah, that's on the, the bottom. As I said, could be about finances or could be about maybe you need to save some more money. Um, but yeah, you're being greedy. You want long-term security, as I said. Then you've also got the Ace of Pentacles. Now this can be a new job, a new promotion. Maybe you get some money from somewhere, some financial reward, prosperity, wealth. It can also be a blossoming new relationship if that's what you're after. It says a windfall of abundance, wise counsel or good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or vehicle. So as I said, take it as resonates. Could be about finances, could be about, so maybe you're just overspending, you, need, you want long-term security, it could be that. Um, but as I said, it could be about love. Gemini. I feel like something is not, I feel like it didn't progress to a high level of commitment or marriage. There was some attraction, but I feel like it never kind of progressed or there was no intention to progress. It could be any of that. Um, the other two that fell out. Now, <clears throat> I feel like you have an idea about what you think you want in a person. Um, you do need to love yourself first and also feel like it's going to be about give and take and make sure that the relationship that you want to be in is all about give and take. But you're also manifesting about your soulmate. So you're trying to call in currently a soulmate to you. So if this was about a new new um about a person, like about love, the Ace of Pentacles, the first one that I pulled out, would be all about a blossoming new relationship coming in, um, as I said. But if it's about finances, could be about a new job or promotion or, you know, and you want long-term security. Gemini. Joy and delight. And you've got to accept love. Look at that. It's going to take strength and resilience to get through where you're at at the moment, right? But as I said, accept love. A new blossoming relationship like I just finished saying. The one that you've got here is joy and delight. I'm going to, go, I'm going to have a look what that one means. I haven't seen this one before. So this is all about this card, the other one, 
This card has a clear message. Find and embrace joy. Maybe you've been feeling down or blue lately or just too busy being an adult to find the time for life's simple pleasures. Maybe like so many, you don't feel worthy of joy, but I assure you, you are. Either way, if you pulled out this card, you probably need some more joy in your life. It doesn't have to be anything complicated or expensive. You don't have to go to Disney um, to go to get your joy, but you do have to make the effort to seek it out or at least or at the very least create the space and opportunity for joy to come to you and when it is there right in front of you don't shrug it off or be in a hurry to move on to the next thing embrace joy fully dive into the moment yell and grin and leap if that's what's cool for pretend you're a child and just go with it swing higher kick off your thongs joy is good for the soul go find something that brings you joy do it now if you need to do a cartwheel go do it Like attracts like. If we raise our, vibra our vibration by doing something fun, doing something for our inner child that we, that you know, brings us joy and delight, that's going to obviously attract good to us, which is really good. Okay, one more. We'll find out more though. Okay, tell me about Gemini. So you're in some sort of mental conflict. There is obviously a decision or a compromise that needs to be made, some sort of decision, which I assume has something to do with the, um, maybe it has to do with the long-term security. It was a situation that I feel like you possibly didn't, you haven't made a decision and you're not taking any kind of action with the chariot card, but also you feel like you need some sort of closure. So it could be about that situation. So you could have had a situation where, you know, you just checking the other cards. Yeah, I feel like there could have been a situation, but you are all up in your head about it. Um, you're weighing up your options even, maybe trying to avoid making a decision, but there is going to be new love come in. Maybe you're even in, maybe you're even in mental conflict about that particular love relationship maybe because it's not who you thought it would be it's not who you how they thought you would they would you thought they would look it could be anything but i feel like you are too focused on one area of your life you're not making this positive movement forward you kind of have lost hope really you've yeah but it, you know it's telling you to keep the faith really okay, tell me more you don't want to move on from a situation because you feel like there's you thought you were going to get old with this person you thought this person was going to be you in your life forever you thought this person was your person so you're not wanting to move on but it's going to take strength and, and resilience to get through something and i don't feel like you're accepting of this situation i probably should have looked a bit further but i feel like you're not accepting that this other situation's over you need to grieve you need to if you have need to have a cry have a cry i feel like there's definitely the cards below where i was reading were telling us the exact same situation so you have everything inside you to get through this situation though you know and you are going to end up moving on which is probably the old will bring in get rid of the old the new will come in Tell me more. Tell me more for Gemini, please. The 19th to the 25th. Yeah, you are going to be moving on, as I said a minute ago. Um, but you haven't yet broken the cycle. And it could be that you get manipulated in situations. But it can also be you need to manifest more what you want, not what you don't want. Maybe you're manifesting more of the what you don't want. But you need to break the cycles. We will clarify all these cards as well. Um, there could be a third party, but also this is maybe you're doing some, as I said, if it's about finances, maybe you're doing collaboration, you're doing some teamwork with somebody, maybe you're learning a new new skill. Um, this, this situation was probably a distraction or a missed opportunity, though, with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, I want one more card, please, for a Gemini. Too many. One more card for Gemini. Yeah, you're not wanting to let it go. You need to work on you. 
Um, this is like resisting the change, getting rid of whatever doesn't serve you anymore, doing the work on you. And as I said, you have everything to get through what, you, what you've been through. You've got to trust your intuition. Um, you feel like you won't be victorious in a situation and that's probably because you had your heart broken. Um, but you are going to forgive. You are going to, you know, release the pain and move on. I feel like you didn't stand your ground in the situation for some of you either. We'll clarify and get a bit more information. Okay, tell me why you're in mental conflict, Gemini. You thought this situation was going to give you your whole happy families, the financial security, the be all end all. You thought this situation was going to do that, and that didn't happen. And you ended up having an ending, um, but I feel like somebody was all plan, like all talk and no action. Um, they could have been, um, maybe there was no lack of plan made. They could have been insulting, rude, gossipy, all that kind of stuff. Um, you may even not be in communication with this person at the moment. I feel like you're repressing all your emotions though. You need to release those. Can you tell me about the Love Begins card? Let's read out the, oh goodness, I don't even get to ask the question. These cards are coming out. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please. Why is that here for Gemini? The Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? So you've had the ending. You're all up in your head about it. You need to focus now on your self-worth. And I feel like once you do, your love will come in. Because you've had this complete rock there. Look, you've had, hit rock bottom, the tower, probably the universe probably stepped in and either gave you some sort of um, unwanted change or some sort of upheaval, some awakening, some something. Uh, why don't you want to move on, Gemini? This person, I mean, three's a crowd. There was probably a third-party interference where you put in all the hard work, so that's made you lose faith in this whole situation. Tell me why you're not breaking the cycle. Three of Wands, you're waiting for your ships to come in. Um, you, you want rewards for whatever efforts you put in, but it was probably some sort of lost opportunity that the universe ended up taking control of. That means something better is coming. If something didn't work out, it generally means something better is coming. Okay. Tell me why the death card in reverse is here. Ace of Cups, new love. New love. So you're resisting the change. But it's funny, you started with the Ace of Cups and you finished with the Ace of Cups. New love. You really don't want to end the situation. I feel like some of you may reconcile. Let me ask. Is this a reconciliation? So somebody may try to communicate with you. As I said, keep up your keep up your strength, resilience, persistence. Put up your boundaries. Trust your intuition. Um, what you want is a firm foundation and I feel like you're getting some mental clarity about this situation and this can also be a fresh start or some sudden opportunity that comes in. Yeah, you feel like you haven't got closure yet. So for some of you, this may be a reconciliation. For others, it could be a new love.
Okay, tell me more about the outcome. You're not wanting to break a cycle? I mean, I've got... Ace of Pentacles. So we have this card. Oh, we do. You got two Ace Cups and two Aces of Pentacles. Um, definitely some sort of new, something new, new blossoming relationship, new something. Definitely a new blossoming relationship. But I feel like you got to take action and be determined to succeed. Maybe you don't want to make a choice, but you are going to be like a fool and have, you know, be a free spirit, have some fresh hope, all those things. Three of Swords. Yeah, somebody's going to break your heart. The truth will come out. Maybe because they're indecisive or overwhelmed by their choices. So, yeah, for some of you, it may be a reconciliation. For others, it may not. Because I did see that card somewhere. Um, anyway, that is what I have. I can't really be more... Let me ask the romance angels. Okay, is this a reconciliation for Gemini? Is this a reconciliation for Gemini? Tell me more. Reconciliation for Gemini. Yes, that answers my question. Release your ex. Release your ex, new love. Guess that answers the question that I was asking. So you're going to be getting to know each other. Oh, look, free yourself. And then you're going to be calling in your soulmate. There was deception and now the deception is either over or there is no deception in the new situation, which is great. Yeah. So the message in this, release your ex. And then new love will come. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry, I lost my voice. Thanks for watching. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.